Hello guys, me Austin Austin here, and guys, Michigan Wolverines absolutely crushed, dominated, slaughtered, whatever you want to call it, against Notre Dame at the big house. What up, bro? What up, Notre Dame? It's about time, bro. I know it's at home, but man, this feels great. It feels great, bro. Number eight, Notre Dame Irish. I guess number 19, Michigan Wolverines. And it was all Michigan Wolverines from the start to the finish. Oh, man. What a game, man. The only thing I didn't like about the game was that, what was that pass interference call that never should have been pass interference. Like, come on. Which cost us a May getting a shutout. They did score anyway. But still, it still kind of aggravates me a little bit. But we did win 45-14. to So, I will take it. We still won by over 30. 31. Yeah, 31. So, it was an amazing win. Amazing win. It was pouring. It was bad weather. But, Michigan still came out strong. The fans, they were full on support. I watched most of the games, I just watched the highlights just a second ago. And man, just everything was going right for the Michigan defense, for the Michigan offense, for Shea Patterson, for a running game. I do feel like we were running a bit too much, but it worked out against Notre Dame. They could not stop us on the run. And Dylan McCaffrey, congratulations to him getting his first passing touchdown of the season. That was a great play to me, like that dude just broke the tie, he like was moving bro, like wow, I was like, I'm like, I, damn, I didn't think that dude was going to score, like wow, man, like, guys, let's go over it, and our playoff chances are alive, like, if we can win out, if we can beat Michigan State, which I think we will, it's sad that Michigan State's not ranked, because they are, it really helps us, but they're probably not going to be. But Ohio State, they're going to be the top. They may, they may be number one by the time we face them. Which is like, wow. Like, it, it may, this may be the toughest Ohio State team we would have to face in a while. And it's, Ohio State keeps getting better and better, and I'm getting the props. That's what you do. Yeah, I'm going to give them props, man, because... They're definitely one of the dangerous teams in the country, like, Justin Fields, he's an unbelievable quarterback. Like, each quarterback that goes into Ohio State just becomes a dominant quarterback. Not exactly in the NFL, but in Ohio State, man, he's got to get the props. It is know how to build players. It is know how to play football. And you got to get the props for it, and I do. But, I'm an Ohio State fan, so... But anyway, this was this was just a huge win, man. Let's go. Let's just go with the stats, and where will be we? Where will we be ranked? Well, Oklahoma lost against Kansas State. That's a huge. That's huge for us. That's huge. That definitely will count for us. But I don't know. You know, it's hard to really say. Wisconsin lost two weeks ago, so that definitely helped us. I, I, probably number 12, I'm guessing number 12, you know, that's where I'm guessing at, probably, or no, because Texas also lost, they lost to TCU, so that also helps us as well, Oregon did win, which I want them to win anyway, because they're also one of my teams I like to, I like to, to see, and also Tennessee won, great win against South Carolina, at home, great for them, I think they're really turning it around, so I'm happy for them. And Oregon winning in a thriller against Washington State with a game-winning field goal. Incredible game, man. Wow. But anyway, yeah, it should be interesting, man, where, like, where Michigan's going to be um, at near the end. I mean, uh, not near the end of the season, but within the next probably three to four days when the rankings get, um, you know, when, when, they go, when the committee goes through it. But it doesn't really matter. Because if we can't beat Ohio State, it don't matter. 
because you can't tell me as a Michigan fan, you can't tell me if we went out but lose to Ohio State, doesn't matter. We're nine three, okay? We're nine three. Which I believe actually I believe in my video before the season I predicted us to be ten and two. But us somehow messed things up. Which that's exactly what's happening. Like it's funny how I somehow predicted pretty well, like like, I don't know, man, like, sometimes my predictions go south, sometimes my predictions go right. You know, just the way it is. They look at Houston. You know, they tied the series up, I'm gonna go into that in a second, and I predicted them to win the World Series, I, I predicted Alex Bregman to win the, the MVP, look at he at the Grand Slam, so I'm gonna go into that, so I'm gonna stop talking about that. But, um, yeah, if we can get Ohio State, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, the season's over, it don't matter the better goal game, the season's, it, it's a wrap. But anyway, let's go over with our stats. Shea Patterson, 6 for 12, as you can see, he didn't really throw the ball too much, he ran the ball a lot. 50%, 100 yards for two touchdowns. Dylan McCaffrey, 2 for 2, 100%, 34 yards and a touchdown. Hoskins, 20 rushes, 149 yards, like, that's a great day, definitely. 7.5 average and 49 for his longest run. You got Zach, 15 rushes, 74 yards, two touchdowns, four for nine. So you, and 35 with his longest. So as you can see, they use Hoskins for more like the normal plays, but like when it came to like the scoring, it went to Zach. As you can see from this, Wilson. Six rushes for 45 yards, one touchdown, seven for five average. And his longest was 27. Turner with four four rushes for 31 yards, no touchdowns, seven point eight average, thirteen long. Alright, let's go to wide receivers. Mike, I don't can't pronounce his last name. Three receptions for 73 yards. One touchdown, 24.3 average, and 34 his longest. Donovan Peoples Jones, I love this man, this kid. I think he'll make it in the NFL. I think he will. Two receptions for 28 yards, one touchdown, 14 average, 20 his longest. And Nickel Collins, which I think he'll also make it in the NFL. He didn't do too much, one reception for 16 yards, one touch. He did get one touchdown, so. He actually, you know what? He did do something, so I can't say he didn't really do anything. So I'll take that, I take that back. 16, 16 average, as long as 16. Bell, long perception for 9 yards, 9, I'm sorry, long perception for 9 yards, his average was 9, so it was just like one play. Then Jackson with long perception for 8 yards. Notre Dame, um, the quarterback, Brook, 8 for 25, which that, that's terrible, that's not good, that's not good. He averaged 30, 32, no, no, sorry, not average, his percentage, sorry, his percentage was 32, yards 73, one touchdown, and there was, I believe there was also a fumble from a Notre Dame as well, but yeah, man, it just, it, it feels great to be a Michigan fan, man, we scored in every quarter, Notre Dame couldn't score in the first half. It really should have only been to the first, to only the fourth quarter. I only count those seven points because I passed interference. We scored three in the first, two, sorry, 14 in the second, seven in the third, and 21 in the fourth. So we really went ham in the fourth. We're six and two now. We're fourth in the Big Ten. It's looking good, man. It's looking good. And guys. Now on to the next topic, the Washington Nationals. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't. I definitely heard Donald Trump was going to game five. I, bl I believe he's still going. I'm not that sure how much time the Senate is. I think he's believing he is going for game five. That's what I heard back in um, game after game two. So. I guess it'd be nice to see him at a, at a sports event. But anyway, I was not the video, point of the video, but Ashes won 8-1. to one. 
didn't look good. It didn't look good. The last two games have been horrible. In game three, we were 0 11 with runners in scoring position. 0 11. We scored one run. One run, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what our pitching. Yeah, we gave it four runs. It doesn't matter because we couldn't score. We couldn't score. So I don't blame Sanchez at all. I do not at all. I don't blame nobody but our offense. Pathetic. It don't. That's why I don't just score 12 runs. That's why it's like I should have a feeling. Ooh, the scoring 12 runs really would have been, you know. A different game one. We only scored, what was that? What was it, five? Like, so that isn't bad, but 12. I feel like. I feel like our offense just went too ham, and it's like, in game three, it's like, we got a lot of hits, but we couldn't knock them in, like, besides a Jupa Cabrera triple, that's the only thing, that's the only thing we did, that's it. That's pretty much it, and then game four, it was pretty much the same thing, except for, we got four hits. We actually got 13. 13. Team. Patrick did not look very good. He did last four, six innings, six innings, seven hits, four four runs, four earned runs, five Ks, two two walks. In the loss, then you got Jose. Five innings, two hits, no run, no earned runs, four Ks. So as you can see, he was one of those pitchers where they just were gonna keep him keep him for a little bit and then do the bullpen, which that worked. We only scored one run, which is in the sixth. <sighs> Just, we once again gave up runs in the first, like, don't know what's up with the first, something with that. And I apologize for pausing, but my arm keeps getting tired, so I rest my arm for a second, so I apologize. But anyway, our defense has been outstanding, like, Ron Dolan, man, he just, what? Those unbelievable, like, he, like that diving, like that diving play to steal a hit from the two bay, in a two way, bro. Twenty four straight hits in a postseason game. At least one hit in twenty four straight. That is insane. It's insane. Oh my gosh! Like I can't believe it, bro. He. Definitely future Hall of Famer, bro, and Alex Bregman with a grand slam, the second grand slam, I think in Astros Post history. I believe that's what it said, I'm not exactly sure exactly what the stat was, but it's just bad, man, you know, it's like you just gotta shake it off and hope we can win game five, we got it, we got to, they get, do it for the fans, bro, these fans need something to cheer about, like, come on. If we can't win this game, man, I'm afraid we might not be able to win this series. You know, I still believe until until the Astros win the actual whole World Series, I still have faith and believe in the Nationals, and I still will say, let's go Nationals. I'm so proud of this team no matter what happens. I still love this team. so proud of the guys in that locker room that came out and put their heart and body on the line. You know, and say for these fans, man. And I'm happy to be an Astros fan, man. Like, we need to get this done, bro. Just, you know, you don't you don't want to be like the Texas Rangers where you could have had it. You don't want to be like the t t Detroit Tigers like you should have had it. You don't want to be like the Mets like you should have had it. You know, you don't want to be like, you, you don't want to be like the Dodgers like you should have had it. You know, I just you you don't want to be that team. You don't want to be that team like or like the Indians. You don't want to be that team. That could have had it, but blew it. You want to win that title, why you still have the chance? In the Nationals, you are, you're up to zip. All you need to do is win one game, which was Game 3. If we don't win this series, I think Game 3 is the game that we look at as the key game that we should have won that would have probably got us the World Series if we don't win the World Series. But anyway, guys, that's really it. The Lions play against the Giants on Sunday. So, if we don't win, our season's over. It don't matter. Our season is over. I don't see it getting anywhere. 
our season will be over if we can't beat this Giants team. Like, yeah, they got Daniel Jones, and they got Soy Gus. Soy Gus. They got Barkley. I I can't pronounce his first name. They got Barkley, which is, he's one of the most dominant running backs in the NFL. Just unbelievable kid. The speed and just, that dude's still it. But yeah, hopefully we win. Hopefully the Nationals will win in game five. This guy should get off, man. This guy should get off. But great win for the Michigan Wolverines, man. Great win. Let's go blue. Let's go blue. Let's go blue. Let's go blue. The amazing blue. Finally, it's been a forever since I've actually felt this good to be a Michigan Wolverines man. It's no lie. And all my college football teams won tonight, which is the first time I've played forever. And it was all home games, so it's that's pretty crazy. But yeah, I can't remember the last time I felt this good to be a Michigan Wolverines fan. I really for football. You know, especially a rival of a game that's not that's not a Big Ten team. That's not Ohio State, you know, of course. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like the video, please drop a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Great win for Michigan Wolverines, man. Just offensively, defensively, everything was going off the charts. Jim Harbaugh, whatever he did, man, keep at it, man. Keep at it. Come on. Let's do it. Well, guys, we're going to have a wonderful day, and see you guys next time. Go Nets, and go Michigan. And go Lions. Peace.